Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. This is, of course, your broadcaster, HD StarCraft, and I'm here to bring you guys another StarCraft II Heart of the Swarm broadcast. Down in the bottom right-hand corner, it is going to be the red Protoss player from Canada. His name is Desro. And over in the top left-hand corner, or bottom left-hand corner of the map, we have the blue Protoss player. Now, I was going to say this is the Canadian dragon, but he just spoke out in Korean, so I'm not entirely sure if this is Millennium's dragon or not. But for rest assured, it is going to be Dragon, and he's going to be playing as the Blue Protoss down in the bottom left-hand corner. If it was Millennium's Dragon, then I guess he decided to not play Terran and wanted to experiment out with a different race. I'm not entirely sure, but uh, this is certainly a good map for a PvP, my first ever Heart of the Swarm broadcast, Protoss versus Protoss. And what better way to do it than on Star Station, Protoss's very own home world. Love this map, by the way, too. Very vast, lots of expansions. You can go ahead and take all over the map. But one thing to note here in PvP, it's traditionally been a matchup that has been dominated by a lot of one base play, a lot of early aggression, Forgate being the, uh, the, the uh, predecessor to all types of aggression back when StarCraft II first came out for Protoss. And now I have to say, with Heart of the Swarm, Protoss definitely have a couple more possibilities they can play around with. They actually don't need to go early aggressive one base play anymore because they can get the Mothership Core out. And the Mothership Core really provides Protoss with that, that extra layer of protection with the newly renamed Photon Overcharge ability, which is just the Purify ability. And uh, also they have an Envision ability that gives them detection. So now Dark Templars aren't nearly as effective in PvP anymore. And uh, just overall, I think Protoss are starting to trend more towards playing an expand style. They already kind of were in Wings of Liberty. You know, you saw some two-gate robo-expand and three-gate robo-expand and whatnot. But now Protoss can really hunker down and they can play defensively because of the Mothership Core. And that was the original design intent from Blizzard when they first came out with the unit. Now, I just wanted to go ahead and say, I want to say a huge thanks to everybody who tuned in to my uh, RSL finals broadcast. I casted Vortex, Lenok, and uh, Scarlet playing in the grand finals for season two. If you guys checked that out yesterday, then uh, big ups to you guys for watching that. That was really, really cool, and it was my pleasure to bring that to you guys. And, uh, of course, I gave out a Heart of the Storm beta key there because I thought it, it would be a nice way to go ahead and give something out to the viewers. I will be giving out another key here in this cast, not too sure when. Uh, actually, I'll just give it out right now. So, if you guys want a Heart of the Swarm beta key, all you have to do is tell me, when is Heart of the Swarm slated to release? Give me the exact month, date, and year down in the comment section down below. And if you guys are the first one to answer it correctly, then you guys will get a Heart of the Swarm beta key. But if you don't get it correct, or if you watch this video a little bit too late, no worries, because I have a lot more keys to give away. I think I have like uh, six or seven, something like that more. So, plenty of keys here. And uh, if you guys still don't get it, well, don't worry, because guess what? It's coming out soon! And uh, I'm not going to tell you the date, because then that would spoil it for those of you guys who did not watch my earlier video, or if those of you guys who aren't staying tuned to community updates in, uh, in of course, StarCraft 2. Alright, so let's go ahead and get into this game here. We do have a Mothership Core coming out from Dragon. He has had it on a second gateway, and he's going to go Stargate here. So we might actually see some uh, Oracle play coming out from Dragon, which would be very cool. We haven't seen Oracles really used at all in Protoss versus Protoss, and I wonder how effective they would actually be. I, I don't think they would be that good against what, Dr what Desro is going for right now, which is uh, Blink Stalkers. He's going for a three-gate... Seems to be Blinkstalker timing attack here. His probe in the middle of the map just got taken out by Dragon's two scouting stalkers. But uh, this should be interesting to see because how will Dragon hold off a three-gate Blinkstalker timing? This is a traditional Wings of Liberty build. And the thing here is Dragon has gone for two-gate Stargate, which typically isn't very good <laughs> against three-gate Blinkstalker. But you have to remember here, Dragon does have the power of Heart of the Swarm on his side, and he's got a Mothership Core. And of course, that Photon Overcharge ability can be extremely helpful. And we'll see what happens here. Desro is coming out right now with the probe, ready to throw up that proxy pylon, bringing out a couple of more Stalkers as well. And he's got the Mothership Core on the way. I'm going to show you guys some of these other tabs here because I don't do this enough. But uh, as you can see, economy, technology, and army right there. Dragon spending a little bit more in army, but Desro has more in technology as he's added on the blink. We do have a movement of troops here from Desro as he's coming with everything here. Um, 
And we are going to see how Dragon is going to be able to hold this off. He's just sticking back in one base. He's making Phoenix out of his Stargate, not making Oracles as I originally thought he would. So, interesting. Phoenixes are, uh, they're a weird unit. Sometimes it's hard to really pull them off. In low numbers like this, I don't see them being too effective against Dezro's Blink Stalkers. So it's really going to come down to Dragon's ability to use the Mothership Core here. Here comes the Stalkers right now. That's a lot of Blink Stalkers. The Mothership Core has used Photon Overcharge. And Dezro's Stalker taking a lot of damage. That Stalker's like, man, I don't want to take that damage. I'm out of here. And all the Stalkers blinking back here. And then the rest of them are like, all right, all right, time to back out. Uh, Dezro almost losing the Mothership Core there, taking a little bit of damage but decides to pull away and with the nexus photon overcharge for the next 60 seconds yeah he doesn't really want to take unnecessary damage like that that's a lot of firepower for desro's stalkers just to handle by themselves but he's going in nevertheless here he's got to be careful blinks that stalker back and now the stalkers have been graviton beam they're flailing away in the air as the nexus takes them out oh one of the mothership cores goes down dragon will not have the ability to re photon overcharge his nexus and uh, he's got to be careful here because his stalkers don't have blink whereas Desro does now he is making an immortal out of his robotics facility if he can get that immortal out then he should be okay but Desro is still pushing here and of course the, the nice thing about this is Desro can use his mothership core to attack as well as to recall his army out and he's bringing it in right now that aerial to surface bombardment from the mothership core but it goes down it's such a flimsy unit and uh, the stalkers now are starting to get levitated up Wingardium Leviosa says Dragon, and he's coming in now with the Immortals, so he should have more than enough firepower to push Desro away. But Desro is not going to give up, never give up, never surrender, and he is going to get that Immortal killed off. So this is going to be a very close micro battle here, but with two more Zealots coming out from Dragon, that should be more than enough. Plus another Immortal, I think, for Dragon to hold on to his ramp, despite Desro going for a very aggressive, not just 3-gate, but 4-gate Blink Stalker build here. He has no plans to expand, so the Red Protoss player Desro really trying to end it right now on his own terms, but Dragon is just trying to hang on. He is also adding on a support base so he can get Colossus out, and you guys all know about the Colossus once it comes out in PvP. It really does change the way this game is played. Both players have to start going for Colossus, but Desro doesn't want to go into that mode yet. He wants to end the game now. He's going in with everything he's got. One of the Stalkers getting Graviton Beam now released, and Desro has to pull away again. Dragon's composition of Phoenix, Stalker, and Immortal seems to be working out pretty well. Uh, he needs another Mothership Core, though, but it is somewhat expensive at 100-100. Although, I would say at this situation, in, the, in a situation like this, it is a good idea to get the Mothership Core out. Oh, gotta be careful that Phoenix here, trying to pull out heavy acrobatic maneuvers to get out of the way, but gotta be careful because he might get G-locked if he pulls away too hard. If you guys ever uh, watched what happens in a centrifuge, I think it's called a centrifuge, G-lock is pretty interesting. Watch it out on, check it out on YouTube, it's actually really cool, I was watching videos about that. <clears throat> it's basically when a pilot just ta pilot just takes over nine G's and then just uh, suffocates or like loses blood to his brain. So, anyways, um, let's see. Dragon now holding on to his main ramp. It looks like Desro is going to pull back with some of his stalkers here. Not too sure why he's pulling back. There isn't any imminent threats coming from the uh, from the Blue Protoss player. He has a good contain right now. He's adding on a robotics facility of his own. So it looks like now he's going to go ahead and try to settle down and play a macro style. But he is quite behind in the Colossus tech because the Colossus is already coming out for Dragon. And Desro has no robotic support bay yet. Gotta be careful here though if Dragon might lose a Phoenix. That G-Lock, those Phoenixes... I don't know. I, I don't know if Protoss players actually would suffer the same amount of... Uh, blood deprivation or hypoxia that a, a human pilot would probably not definitely not a hallucinated phoenix because this thing is not even real just going into scout it will see the support bay so now we know for sure that dragon is going for colossus and he's adding on an oracle as well so uh remember the oracle has a great ability called time warp which it could work pretty well here and maybe not against blink stalkers but uh, if Desro decides to implement some Zealots or Immortals or even Colossus into his army... Oh! Gotta be careful with Dragon's Phoenix. They will go down. And uh, they're just flying. Man, that, that time they were just flying over enemy airspace. So that was a bad move by Dragon. But as I was saying before, if Desro can get some Colossus out, then he should be okay. But what about this uh, Oracle that's coming in here? It can time warp the ramp. 
or he could just go up and time warp these forces. We'll have to see what Dragon decides to do. This is an interesting composition here. And Desro just trying to hold on to the main ramp. Looks like a Colossus getting a couple of laser rays down. That Oracle is pretty flimsy, though. You don't want to just fly it in and, and lose it like the Phoenixes were lost. Um, and we can see Dragon just has a superior army. He has a Colossus with two Immortals. Desro still does not have a support bay, but he does have extra gateway production. And he has Blink. So it really will come down to the micro. Better technology from Dragon, but uh, Desro with better mobility... And uh, we'll see what happens here. That Oracle could drop the Time Warp Field right now. It looks like it's trying to figure out where it wants to go. Meanwhile, one of the Immortals was picked out as it was coming in to reinforce Dragon's army. And Desro gets back up to the main ramp. And now Time Warp comes down after the Blink was used. Beautiful play by Dragon. Waiting for the Stalkers to use their Blink. And then dropping the Time Warp down. So these Stalkers are finally getting their Blink back online. Able to get out of the Time Warp Field. And it doesn't look like we would really see much movement of troops in here. So Desro isn't that affected by Time Warp. Just a very little amount, not too much, as he's not really um, mobilizing his army under that field. And nice micro right here from Desro as he brings that Immortal back. He is warping in four additional Zealots here. Desro should be able to make a hold. He needs to keep that Immortal alive. That Zealot is on a one-man mission right now, trying to get that Immortal down. Will he be able to do it? He's chasing, he's chasing for Ire, he says. Desro says, no, I'm really fighting for Ire. You're, you're just fighting for Shakuras. So Dragon uh, says, oh man, I can't, I can't actually kill off that Immortal. I didn't get the kill it was so close at 9 HP are you kidding me so dragon ha probably will have to pull back now I don't see him maintaining this fight he is going to lose his immortal he could micro to take out Desro's immortal oh he gets it as it was running up the ramp and uh, it looks like Desro should be able to clean this up as long as he micros appropriately which he has more than enough stalkers to do so probably won't even really need to micro and that pylon, yes, ladies and gentlemen, is going to go down. So Desro holds on quite convincingly, takes a supply lead now at 58 over 39. We'll see what Dragon's got planned now because he still has superior attack. He has a support bay to make Colossus. He also has a Stargate to make more Oracles, but he's just facing now a raw amount of firepower from, from Desro. And and Dragon just doesn't have um, enough units on the field to deal with this, I don't think. He does have better tech, though. We'll see. That sentry could use a force field. It could. It will not. He could block out those zealots, but I think right now uh, Dragon is just waiting and, and seeing what he really needs. Does he want, rather have rather want Guardian Shield, or does he rather want a force field? And honestly, force field... <clears throat> probably won't be that good against these stalkers because uh they can just blink and mobilize around that we do have desro now going for an expansion oh those stalkers blinking forward for desro he is going to take out one more immortal the combined firepower of multiple stalkers proving too much for a single immortal to handle we see some of the new death animations there as one of the zealots became a fourth of july firework it just shot in the air and we do have dragon coming out with a new mothership core he realizes that he might just need that photon overcharge ability but he is running out of money right now you can see uh oh this is the last mineral stack here only 100 minerals left he needs to expand but he doesn't have enough he actually cannot make enough in the main base he'll have to distance mine or he'll have to go all in with the probes he's got no he's gonna go distance mine at the natural now and that bodes really well for Desro, who already has a Nexus down. He too ran, ran dry inside the main base. And now it's uh, getting pretty weird because on one hand we have Desro who has a base. But on the other hand we have Dragon who's struggling to accumulate enough resources to get a base. But at the same time, does he have the ability to wait? Does he have the, the time, the window to wait for 400 minerals? Or is he just going to use every ounce of money he gets to warp out new units? And it seems like... Uh, it seems like his Mothership Core is just going to go into Shuriken mode. I don't know why he just activated that. He guess he wants to see hallucinated, cloaked, and burrowed units, but really isn't much to see here. He is going to see that this is a hallucinated Phoenix, but, I mean, that's not really... doesn't really help him out. And it, it seems like now Dragon has no plans of getting an expansion. He's just distance mining to make money. And if that's the case, he's only at 47 supply, and Desro is at 70 supply. So the longer this goes on, I think things are starting to look pretty good for Desro. But Dragon hallucinates a Colossus on the field. Oh yeah, that'll make your army look a little bit scarier, but uh, how much will that actually help? I have no idea. We do have a Mothership core coming in now from the south side. It is uh, going to assist in killing off this proxy pylon. 
All the probes being pulled as well from Dragon. Dragon is going in. This is all he's going for. He's going all in now. He has to. His, force, his hand has been forced. And he's got a hallucinated Colossus to back up his army, but the hallucination effect is about to wear off. I think Desiree is going to have more than enough to hold this off. He even overcharges his Nexus. So this is it. Probes being pulled off the line from Desro as well. That Colossus goes down, but it was a hallucination. The Mothership Core goes down as well. And Dragon quickly running out of firepower here. He has to GG. And Desro takes a victory here over Dragon with a pretty good Protoss play there. That was uh, interesting PvP because we saw how some of the new units are incorporated here and how they can be used in Protoss versus Protoss. And, you know, I was mentioning in the beginning of the cast, thought we were going to see more of an expand style, but then both players stuck on one base for an extended amount of time until Desro finally decided to go ahead and grab a natural. So a good PvP there. It was close, man, and uh, a lot of action. So hope you guys enjoyed. I don't cast PvP too often, so uh, this was a treat for me and hopefully a treat for you guys as well. I've got some more Heart of the Swarm Pro games coming out for you guys, and of course more beta keys as well as Wings of Liberty games. I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet, but uh, of course Thanksgiving is coming up, so make sure you guys stay safe because uh thanksgiving is an important holiday here in the united states if you guys aren't in the states whatever it's important to stay safe and stay healthy because i'm going to come out with more starcraft 2 casts stay tuned and this is hd signing out